Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. Police believe they have solved the Metro Tabernacle Church arson attack following the arrest of eight men. The eight, aged between 21 and 26, were nabbed during a police operation that started on Tuesday. Federal Criminal Investigations Department Director Commissioner Dato Sri Mohamad Bakri Zinin says all eight have been ordered to be remanded for seven days to facilitate investigations. He appealed to the public to allow the police time to carry out a thorough investigation into the Metro Tabernacle Church arson. The church in Desa Malawati was among the Christian places of worship attacked on January 8. Opposi opposition leader Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim's sodomy trial will be heard on February 2. The federal court has set January 29 to deliver its ruling on Anwar's appeal for the prosecution to supply him with documents. Anwar's trial had originally been set to commence for a month from January 25th. Uh, as to, uh, we are so happy that the 25th trial of Dr. Sri Anwar has also been uh, vacated to 2nd of uh, February because this, if this court allows the application by us, then we will have uh, the chance of getting the evidence that we require to uh, better prepare our clients, Dr. Sri Anwar's defence. Anwar is charged with sodomizing his former aide, Mohamed Saiful Bukhari Azlan, at a condominium in Bukit Damansara, Kuala Lumpur, on June 26, 2008. Defence Ministry officials briefed the Public Accounts Committee on the theft of two RMAF 5FE fighter jet engines at Parliament House on Wednesday. The meeting was attended by senior ministry officials including Secretary General Datuk Sri Abu Bakar Abdullah and Royal Malaysian Air Force Chief General Datuk Sri Rosali Dawood. PAC Chairman Datuk Sri Azmi Khalid says the meeting commenced with the officials briefing PAC members on the procedures in handling RMAF inventory. Azmi says he expects the probe to be completed before the parliament meets in mid-March. Mercy Malaysia is accepting donations to provide emergency medical relief for survivors of the Haiti earthquake that killed thousands of people on January 12. Its president, Dr. Ahmad Faisal Pradao, said the fund would be channeled directly to Haiti to be utilised by Mercy Malaysia's partner, Medical Emergency Relief International. The 7.0 magnitude earthquake that struck Haiti killed thousands of people and damaged schools, hospitals and homes. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.